Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Real Madrid facing Barcelona. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. A really exciting game in prospect as Real Madrid get it underway. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And operating through the middle in attack today, Karim Benzema. Koundé. On to De Jong. Jules Koundé on the ball. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Oh, Derek, what a chance this is. And the danger's still on. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Koundé. Dembele, now with Lewandowski, can he give them the lead? Excellent save from Thibaut Courtois. Oh, he's given it away. Real Madrid get the throw in. Benzema, the ball with Luka Modric. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. But then the one that goes astray. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Tony Kroos. And now passing it through. And running in behind, well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Kunde, not a bad pass it was. The referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. Could be. Oh, it's in. Real Madrid make the opening statement in the final. And it could be massively important. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Barcelona get things going again. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Sergio Busquets. Strong but fair tackle. Plenty of support here. Federico Valverde. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Benzema. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Word from the bench is that he's actually twisted his knee. That's why he's been trying it out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. Federico Valverde. Oh, this is looking promising. Ready at the back post is Karim Benzema. 
Well, didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Sergio Busquets. Rafinha. Well, no surprise there. Barcelona have enjoyed most of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more... Not out of the woods yet! Well, they can keep possession now. That is that for the first half here. So underway again, Barcelona trailing going into the second half. Can they come up with the right response? Able to skip past his man. Well then there to tidy up. Tony Kors. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? And in with a real chance. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way. Surely. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there. But they do take it well, you have to say. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Sergio Busquets. Given away by Barcelona. Benzema. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Sergio Busquets. Intelligent threaded pass here. He could pick out a teammate. And a bit short with the clearance. Modric. Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, he may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. Frankie de Jong. Now Busquets. De Jong. Well, not hard to read that pass. Federico Valverde. This is Kroos. Valverde. Into the advanced position goes Modric. The cross from Danny Carvajal. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Now a decent position. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Karim Benzema. Chouameni. Carvajal. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, spot on with that challenge. What can Real do from this position? Well, Real Madrid fans have enjoyed this. A dominant performance, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Well read to put an end to that attack. Sergio Busquets. On to De Jong. De Jong. 
and the keeper flings himself at the ball here it is now a substitution and Barca's corner Fired over by Usman Dembele. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, giving it a go in a bid to haul them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. David Alaba. The ball with Luka Modric. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And Benzema in the middle. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners.